Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today, a uh, really interesting news bit coming out uh, from uh, an area I'm very familiar with. So St. Louis, you know, I was born and raised in St. Louis, and the Central West End is a, is a basically near Barnes Hospital, which is a level one trauma center. And the Central West End is very interesting. It's kind of a, a mash of different cultures and economic groups. Uh, part of the Central West End is very posh. It looks like Beverly Hills. Another part of Central West End looks like Beirut, Lebanon. And so it's weird. You walk, the, you can basically take a few steps and be in one completely different neighborhood than the other, uh, just very quickly. It's it's amazing place. And being working after the military, I got out of the army and I worked as an armed security guard for a little bit at uh, Barnes Hospital ER Level One Trauma Center. I worked the night shift, so I saw some amazing things. Uh, during my time there. And uh, very, it, you know, it's the only job I've ever held where I, I said I'd go back there and I'd work for free to, because every night was an adventure. Anyway, so Central West and these BLM protesters are going through uh, one of the higher posh Beverly Hills type neighborhoods, uh, mansions. Uh, the mayor of St. Louis lives in this neighborhood. And they are marching through, and a couple of homeowners uh, at one of the mansions come out with, and one of them's holding an air. The, the husband is holding an AR-15, and the woman is holding what looks like, what looks like to be a Walther uh, 380 or a Sig Sauer 380, and um, it is just amazing. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these pictures. So I posted this over at my Facebook page, and here's my Facebook page. And it's, so far, my Facebook page has got 122 comments, 59 shares. And uh, it, you can see the guy, he is uh, holding his AR-15. She's holding what looks like, to me, people are saying Walther. It could be a Walther. It could be a Sig Sauer. Either one. Um, I may go with just a wall. I don't know what it is, but it's interesting. She's holding her pea shooter, her her noisy cricket. If you remember the the movie Men in Black, uh, she's hold, holding her noisy cricket, and um, she is she means business. Look at her face, and uh, you know people are getting onto her about her trigger discipline. Uh, so far, it looks like his trigger discipline is fine in all the photos. But come on, guys, give her a break on the trigger discipline. She is full of adrenaline right now. She has seen all the photos of people being pulled out of their cars and beaten, people, you know, their homes being wrecked and destroyed, and she's having none of it. She is protecting her property, uh, as an American should, uh, and in, in the use of deadly force, in my opinion, is absolutely warranted for protection of property and life. You have worked all your life for something and these people can take it away in an instant by destroying it. No, no, no. That's not going to happen. And so she's very upset. Uh, these are trial lawyers, by the way. Uh, they've been to law school. I mean law school. And um, so they've made their money that way. You know what I think about trial lawyers. But, um, you know, it's a necessary evil that people need some at some point. And from what I've heard, she has actually defended per police brutality victims in the past uh, as part of her trial lawyer uh, uh, career. And it goes back to my point that I've made many times on this channel and other channels uh, that if given, if left to their own devices, ladies and gentlemen, these leftists will eat their own. And that's exactly what you see here. Here you see two prominent Democrats because all people who live in the Central West End are probably Democrats, especially trial lawyers who live in the Central West End are probably Democrats. And they are drawing guns down on the BLM who are threatening their property. They will eat themselves at some point. The political, that's what the, if you push political correctness to its logical conclusion, and political correctness is what got us here, they will eat themselves at some point. Uh, so the photos are just outstanding. Lots of comments. And the, again, the, the, the comments on here are the best. Over at uh, my um, uh, American Homestead page, uh, hold on, let me click off those. Um, you have uh, tons of comments over here too. Um, this is getting 361 comments so far, 427 shares. Let's refresh that real quick. 386 comments, 438 shares. And uh, as with most things, the comments are always the best. And what's coming out uh, are all of the memes. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to the next 10 years of meme gold right here, right there. Meme gold. Uh, let's take a look at some of what's coming out uh, so far. This one here I saw, Ken and Karen. Now, these were all posted on my American Homestead page uh, on the comment section. <laughs> these are all posted in the comment section, and there's probably more. I haven't even checked in the last 15 minutes. So this is what I f saw in like the first hour posted. Ken and Karen, an election year production. <laughs> 
That looks hilarious. Uh, what's over here? I just wanted to grill. And so there's a lot of these grill ones. I, I guess maybe that's what he was going to do. He was going to grill that night. He was going to grill. He was coming out to do some barbecue, maybe. And so um, there's a couple of these out there. I just wanted to grill. Let's look at the Miami Vice text and font. This one here, I didn't. it didn't have to be this way. You should have let us grill. See, I think there was ho- something about grilling in this whole thing that he wanted to come out and just have some barbecue. Here's one with them uh, behind the American flag. Very patriotic. Uh, protect what's yours. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. Not sure what that's about, but okay. Um, Doom. <laughs> Video game Doom. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is going to be meme gold for the foreseeable future. Doubt, don't doubt me on this, folks. Don't doubt me. Over here is some of the pictures uh, posted over by Daily Mail and uh, some of the other pictures that the protesters captured. This one here where she's pointing the gun directly at the protester who's on the lawn. And she's telling them to get off the lawn. And husband over there is about ready to lay down covering fire. This is the mansion seen as seen from Google Maps probably. There he is out there. I don't see a grill anywhere. Anybody see a grill? Yeah, what are we going to do? What's, what are we going to do? They're talking about how are they going <laughs> to defend the property. There she is. She's very angry. Look at her. She's like, you're not getting on me. You're not destroying what I've built. This is America. There's her. That's him. That's him again. There's the mayor of St. Louis, who the protesters were originally coming to see, but these guys definitely stole the show. Police finally show up. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, so there you go. Meme gold for the next generation right there, folks. You're seeing it as it all unfolds. Uh, amazing times we're uh, living in. Uh, the comments, the comment sections on both my uh, profile and on the American Homestead page are just all over the ballpark. Some people say that they, oh, how dare she point guns at people. Listen, folks, if people are threatening you uh, coming onto your property, you better believe you're going to be getting a gun or calling someone with a gun to come save you. Um, and so just the ignorance is, ast- is just unbelievable, astronomical at this point. I just cannot believe uh, that some people would get upset. And the trigger discipline, obviously, maybe the woman needs some more training, but she used the Second Amendment for the purpose of which it was intended. Congratulations. God bless this woman. She did it. She protected her, her property and made it very clear to those who would threaten that property and life uh, that she would have none of it. And that's exactly what all Americans need to do. Uh, Hopefully, you know, this would be a lesson to these left-leaning trial lawyers because I'm sure they're left-leaning. Maybe they're not. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe they're a bunch of Trump supporting trial lawyers who live in the Central West End. I seriously doubt it. But, you know, maybe this is a lesson to people. You know, if you have an undisciplined society and culture, this is the result of it. And thank goodness that you are blessed with the ability to defend your property, home, and life with lethal force if necessary. Because that could be the only thing that will save you in a lawless lawless society. I've said it over and over again. Get out of the city, folks. Get out of the city. If you think this is going to stay in the city, and it's not going to move to the suburbs at some point, you're sadly mistaken. Because that's what we're in right now. We're in a lawless, undisciplined society that has been left unchecked and that all all is all is available nothing there's no no right or wrong anymore the lines of right and wrong are completely blurred get out of the city get out of the city and find a place where you can get your family find a hole crawl down in it and wait for this to pass by Uh, crazy times we're living in crazy times all right guys we'll leave it at that Thanks for tuning in. Uh, check out our sponsor after right right here. And uh, shirts, T-shirts in the description below. We see that there. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you like the video before you leave. I really appreciate it. All right, guys. See you next time on American Homestead. Bye. Hey, guys. I'm happy to introduce an American Homestead sponsor, Zervita Zeal. Now, first off, I only accept sponsors from products that I use and believe in. My family uses Zeal mainly because we want to ensure a healthy immune system. You see, it's made up of only whole food concentrates and includes no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. The included sweetener is all natural from fruit and the stevia leaf. It's gluten-free, it's vegan, and it's kosher. 
In 2018, my youngest son was involved in a bike accident that resulted in the surgical removal of his spleen, and that's an important part of his immune system. And because we live on a farm, you can guess that having a healthy immune system for our family is very important. Some of the included ingredients are beetroot, chicory root, turmeric, moringa, blueberries, cranberry, goji berry, milk thistle, ginseng, alfalfa, broccoli, and so much more. It's these natural ingredients that can easily be made into a powerful and tasty drink that my family can make and feel good about. So sign up and give it a try today. Every purchase you make goes to help the homestead so that we can continue to make great homesteading videos for you. Link is in the description below. Go ahead, give it a try. Hey guys, did you know you can become a patron of an American homestead? They get access to private videos and we send them gifts from the homestead that we make here on the homestead. And we also enter our patrons into special giveaways that are only available to them. And before you go, please check out these other great videos. Go ahead, click. Oh wait.